I now give the call to the Honourable Member for Holt. Uh, thank you very much, Mr Deputy Speaker. I rise this evening to mark the passing of an important person in the life of Cranbourne, Barry Jones, the former President and Vice President of the Cranbourne RSL, and to celebrate his life and his contribution to the lives of many veterans in our region. Barry served in the reserves of Monash University Regiment for over 14 years before playing a substantial role at the Cranbourne RSL since 1988. According to Cranbourne's RSL receptionist, Ant O'Sullivan, Barry Jones' support and involvement with the staff of the Cranbourne RSL was highly valued and his regular accessibility and support for members was deeply valued. Barry always adhered to the RSL protocol and kept the RSL principles alive. During his tenure as both President and Vice President of the Cranbourne RSL, he played an important role in the recent merger of the Cranbourne and Dandenong RSL sub-branches in 2009, which led to a substantial increase in the services provided to local RSL members. Barry also organised Cranbourne RSL Open Days to attract new members so they could reach their goal of 2,000 members. Barry also led efforts at the Cranbourne RSL with its development to modernise its facilities in Cranbourne. Barry is also heavily involved in the Cranbourne RSL Bowls Club and many members were grateful for his efforts in assisting the club in upgrading the bowling greens. Barry was a long-term member of the club and made an enormous contribution in growing the club and allowing it to thrive. Close friend Denny von Menenberg and colleagues at Cranbourne RSL and Casey Regional Welfare Centre praised his achievements, including helping to organise the 90th anniversary of the Cranbourne RSL and the 60th anniversary of the Victory in the Pacific. Denny also noted that he and Barry attended many aged care facilities, local schools and other community groups to conduct presentations and educate students and people on the meaning of Anzac Day, Remembrance Day, Vietnam Veterans Day and on other significant events in Australia's military history. In the words of Denny, Barry is always willing to assist and ensure that the Cranbourne RSL always looked after its members first. He was a great supporter of our welfare and pension work and many local veterans are now better off due to Barry's unconditional support. Denny also noted that Barry over the last 15 years had played a role, along with many others, in organising Anzac Day and Remem Remembrance Day ceremonies in Cranbourne and they were very, very well attended. Denny, who is Secretary of the Vietnam Veterans Motorcycle Club, Gippsland chapter, chapter, was also proud of Barry's efforts in allowing the chapter to ride their motorbikes in the annual Anzac Day march down the main street of Cranbourne, which was a tradition started in 2004 and has continued ever since. According to Denny, Barry also supported the chapter's work with veterans at the club's drop-in centre at Longwarry North. Barry was responsible for securing computers and printers for veterans' use, which are still being utilised today. Denny first met Barry at the Cranbourne RSL some eight to nine years ago, but throughout their friendship, Denny always saw him as a gentleman. According to Denny, even though his health was failing, he still had nothing but kind words for those around him. And I'm indeed saddened by his loss, lest we forget. Prior to his work, actually, at the Cranbourne RSL, Barry worked at a concrete grooving firm for over 20 years. Through his work as a concrete grooving expert at this firm, he had the opportunity to work on some major international projects in Hong Kong, Japan and Malaysia, as well as domestic projects in Hobart and in Melbourne, such as the, in the initial Westgate Bridge construction and the reconstruction of the Port Melbourne Pier. I'd also like to just talk about Barry's funeral service, which took place earlier today in Cranbourne. And from all reports, it was a great send-off for him. There was a large guard of honour from the Clyde Fire Brigade, the Cranbourne RSL Bowls Club, the Cranbourne RSL and members who served with him from the Monash University Regiment. Many attendees commented on the fact that he was a die-hard Collingwood fan, that's a very good thing, and that he was fortunate to see them win another premiership in 2010. Attendees also paid tribute to his down-to-earth nature. So, to Barry's wife, Carol Jones, his children, Michelle, Amanda, and Karen, grandchild Tyler, and son-in-laws Tony and Kevin, I wish to express my sincere condolences for your loss. I certainly hope in some way that this speech will appropriately acknowledge Barry's substantial contribution to the community and encourage others to volunteer their time with local community organisations in order to help others. And just finishing, just on a more personal note, I certainly valued my time with Barry. I found him to be an absolute gentleman, Mr Deputy Speaker. He was a man that embodied what it meant to be a member of the RSL, 
He worked passionately and tirelessly for his members. He will be very, very sincerely missed. Um, 